Chirenge bendi chatu tieni tichisamale Mkala mwenye janja maza kuchire zofunika Tisamale mapili titari mombi tengu So ibaza kumafaki tale titari mosamala Taka yoli maya kuka, diku kongoloka Vula ikufuta, tiko likute ntedwa So sezi chifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chirenge dwe Ako mama bungwe, amipingo makampani Tirindi udindo, potete za chirenge dwe this is Moody River and it is found in the commercial city of Blanta. This river is a lifeline to the people living on its catchment. But just a naked eye to this river simply shows the water within it is contaminated with chemicals which are dumped into the upstream of Moody. Along this river, there are notable factories that are producing various products, which also produce their byproducts. In this series, we take a look at how energy, industry, and mining affect the state of the environment. Energy falls within the nine key priorities of the Malawi government and contributes immensely to development, both industrial and domestic. The sector comprises five main subsectors, namely electricity, biomass such as fuel and wood, petroleum products, coal and other renewable energy sources. Malawi is largely dependent on biomass as its source of energy with coal, electricity, petroleum fuels and renewable energy technologies and alternative energy technologies collectively contributing to 12% of the total energy demand. However, energy sources are under pressure from a rapidly growing population increasing demand from a diversifying and growing industrial sector, degraded environment, and absence of alternative energy options. Major challenges facing the energy sector include the loss of valuable catchment areas, soil erosion, land use change, and siltation. In recent years, the water hyacinth or namasipuni has been cited as major threat, especially to hydropower production in the country. Electricity in Malawi is generated by hydropower plants operated by Electricity Supply Corporation of Malawi, ESCOM. Ngula, Dedzani, and Kabijua plants along the Shire River generate 98% of the electricity in the country. The remaining 2% is produced by the power plant installed at Wovwe in the northern region. In the face of climate change, hydropower has not been spared by extreme weather events such as drought and floods, which negatively impact hydroelectric power generation along the Shire River. The water flow disruptions have been exacerbated by siltation caused by poor and unsustainable agricultural practices and deforestation in the catchment area. When trash uh, blocks our screens, uh, there are many times we have to shut down a power station to manage this trash, to rake, to rake it out, or maybe to take it out. Um, so we, are, we shut down a power station. That means load shedding uh, to the nation, which uh, basically uh, affects the whole nation economically. And also, there are also times when uh, we get too much blockage and the screens uh, of our intakes um, get damaged. And uh, when they get damaged, we have to shut down the whole of maybe like in Kula B power station, and that's a lot of power out. And then we, uh, we, we have to uh, load, load shed the whole, the whole nation, and that's big load, mass, mass load shedding. That means factories are going to operate, uh, and maybe, maybe domestic, we have to, we have to, we have to uh, do uh, some load shedding. And also, the cost of um, buying materials uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, fix these screens. And also, we have to hire extra manpower to fix these screens in a very short time. All that is a big cost uh, in terms of uh, the weed uh, impact on the... Um, uh, on the, the power plant operations. As a result of challenges that have rocked hydropower generation, Power Utility Corporation ESCOM has to surmount concerns from its consumers to provide consistent supply to satisfy both industrial and domestic demand. Typical examples of such challenges include power load shedding to consumers to cater for maintenance at its generation sites on the Shire River. This is a costly exercise on the part of ESCOM that ends up impacting on the end users as well. The growth of the industry and mining sectors is therefore constrained by the unreliable power supply. 
This has greatly affected uranium mining at Kairakea, which is managed by Pad in Africa, forcing the company to resort to diesel use. In a bid to remedy environmental damage, which in turn affects hydropower generation, government is trying other alternative sources, such as solar energy as a renewable energy source for lighting, especially for the local populace. This is Kadzua village in Cholo, and the whole village is lighted by solar energy. This village has over 300 houses, and each house has three light bulbs. This is one of the major steps government is making in ensuring that alternative sources of energy are explored. At industrial level, corporate institutions are encouraged to own woodlots that can sustain machines like boilers. Eastern Produce in Tiolo, for instance, is one company that has taken a leading role to plant its own woodlot of blue gum as a source of energy to power its boilers in tea processing. Such corporate initiatives, if done on a large scale, can help curb the challenges rocking hydropower through siltation and catchment loss. But they can also cultivate the culture of environmentally friendly stewardship among institutions that demand huge biomass in processing crops such as tea and tobacco, among others. As part of policy response for promoting energy, mining and industry growth, Government has since the 1970s embarked on extensive forest conservation and afforestation projects, mainly through tree planting projects. The tree planting program is now strongly linked to climate mitigation through a program implemented by the Department of Forestry and LEED on tree planting for carbon sequestration and other services where farmers are given an incentive for planting and managing trees. We got a very comprehensive and extensive uh, program in tree planting. Through the forestry uh, department, we have established nurseries in all areas, especially the ADCs, uh, including clubs, so that everybody takes part. As you are aware that you know, trees play a very important role in our lives for our uh, energy and everything, including housing and so on. Government is aware of the importance of improving the efficiency of energy use and conservation measures. Such being the case, the Department of Energy and NGOs are continually undertaking projects to improve the efficiency of alternative sources of energy, as is evidenced at Kadzua Solar Village in Cholo. Although the country's industrial production sector is small, it has a lot of potential to improve its contribution to the gross domestic product, offer employment opportunities to Malawians and increase Malawi's capacity to add value to its primary products before they are exported to other countries. Furthermore, the emerging mining sector has been declared a priority sector by government and increased activity is evident with the opening of the first commercial mine at Gairekera in Garonga and other upcoming exploration ventures, some in bankable feasibility stages. The geology of Malawi is complex as it hosts a variety of minerals that are being mined for both domestic and export markets. Therefore, sustainable development of the energy industry and mining sector requires considerable capacity building, training and significant scientific research and technological development. Government of Malawi, through its Ministry of Natural Resources, Energy and Environment, takes a very critical assessment in the relevant departments, followed by subsequent relevant actions to address the capacity problems. Equally critical would be the integration and harmonization of the social, economic and environmental management policies and strategies for governing energy, industry and mining with other relevant policies such as water policy and land policy, among others, within government. Chirenge wendi chatu tiendi tijisamale Mkala mwanya janja maza kuchire nsofunika Tisamale mapili titale mombi tengu So ibaza kumafakitale titale mosamala Takayoli mayakuka, diku kokoloka Vula ikufuta, tiko likute ntedwa So sezi chifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chirenge dwe Abo mama bungwe, ame pingo makampani Tirindi udindo, potete za chilengedwe 
Tiena tose tizi tete za chile ngedwe Taka yoli maya kuka Tiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta Tiko likute ntedwa Sose zichifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe Amipingo makampani Tirindi udindo Potete za chile ngedwe Tiena tose tizi tete za chile ngedwe Chile ngedwe ndi chatu tiene tichisamale Mkala mwenye janja maza kuchile zofunika Tisamale mapili tizale mombi tengu So ibaza kumafaki tale titae mosa mala Taka yoli maya kuka, tiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta, tiko likute ntedwa So sezi chifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe, amipingo makampani Tirindi udindo, potete za chile ngedwe Tiena tose tizi tete za chile ngedwe Taka yoli maya kuka, tiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta, tiko likute ntedwa So sezi chifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe, amipingo makampani Tirindi udindo, potete za chile ngedwe Tiena tose tizi tete za chile ngedwe Tiena tose tizi tete za chile ngedwe